This is my scene right now. Just enough room to tuck in the truck. Go and see what's going on with her now. Oh boy. Okay, so we're back. I think it's leaking from there. Where the light is, right there. I think it's coming from there. There's really nowhere else it could be coming from. Unless it's a cracked housing, which is, which is bad. But I don't see anywhere else it could be leaking. This line here, this, this is dry. That, that seems to be by for blow by gas for the, for the block. But to be leaking like this, the only thing that looks wet is that. Is, damn, you see that down there? Right there? The only place that's really wet. And it starts from there and works its way down. So. <sighs> Sorry about the background noise. I'm uh, cleaning the carb, which we'll get to. Uh, so in here is nasty, but in here is also very difficult to get the tank out. I tried to remove the straps and they're gone. And uh, let's shine some light. They're gone. And uh, I can't get this out. The gap between here and let's say even if I move the, let me put this down. The gap between here and here is about seven and a half, no, yeah, seven and a half inches. So basically this bracket would have to come off, this would have to come off for me to able to get this partly out. But because of the length of it, or I guess the height, I would have to remove this. I don't want to do that. So I got to clean up this tank somehow. So I'm thinking I'm going to um, probably try and pump this out, the old crap in there. And there's, it goes a ways. Yeah, you can see all that. But I'm thinking I'm going to pump it out. And uh, granted, this is all without me really knowing whether or not it's worth doing any of this. You know, we, I know we all love to watch, you know, these will it run type videos, but it's actually very nerve wracking trying to figure out whether or not you bought a big paperweight or you got something of gold. <sighs> but we'll carry on. Um, what I did so far was I was able to get it to crank. So that's a good sign. I checked Spark. Spark was there with the new battery. And the fuel pump works. The only thing that's off right now is the gauges, which I wasn't originally able to get to work, but I checked all my grounds and all the wires, even though it's a little difficult because half of them are painted yellow. If you can look there. Um, I ripped off some of this sheathing and they exposed some of the wires, but you could see they went kind of crazy with the painting and painted everything yellow. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, good times. The, um, the carb is out and I, oh, sorry, going off, my mind wanders as I look around. Um, for the gauges, it was missing a ground. So that's this yellow one here. So it was missing this ground. I put that back and the gauges started coming back to life. So that's set, sort out. Um, their wiring wasn't the most ideal. I redid some of that and soldered some connections and, and heat shrinked it. Um, now, let's get to the carb. So the carb was 
was was was assumingly nasty because the tank was nasty. And how do I know all this? Because I hooked this up and well, I don't see if you see on camera. I hooked this up and I basically was pumping without the filter just so I can get the maximum pressure because I knew everything would be gummy. And I had what's what size is this? This is the flow side. So it's going from the tank over here up. So I put this in the tank, put this, left this alone, and then I just put this into a little container just to see what would come out. And brown nasty started coming out. So, uh, well, there's a little bit of oil mixed in there from uh, the filter, but it was mainly brown nastiness. So, tank is a no-go because because there's a part that I'll show you on the carb. Half of the carb I have being cleaned, the other half is clean and I'm starting to rebuild it. I figured it'd be a good time to show you the one little annoying piece if it's dirty on most carbureted stuff, life's gonna suck. So let's go over to the bench. I'll pause the ultrasonic cleaner and we can take a look at the carb. Okay, this is the carb cleaned up and the other half is in the cleaner. Um, yeah, so this is your float. This is a bronze float and it took me a little to get this out but now it's freed up. Under here is your needle. So as fuel goes in, when this gets full, this float is here, it'll go and close on this needle. Now the spot that was clogged was not necessarily the needle, but if we look in here, this jet, right? You can see that hole there. If that gets clogged, you, you're, you're not going anywhere. You're not doing anything. You're not getting any fuel. So, and if this has got dirt on it, you're no go as well. So I cleaned all these out. I blew some air through it. And this is now good to go. So just wanted to show you guys that. I'm gonna carry on with this and hopefully I could get it running. I could get it cranking, so that's a good sign. guys so I was able to get it running to a certain degree um, this point I got a ton of projects coming and I think we're gonna have to let this one go it's it's a good machine I could tell that from its maintenance and how it started up from that video that I just showed you guys 
I initially found that it started because I was doing a compression test on the engine and it actually it fired on three cylinders and it had good compression out the piston that that uh, I was checking which was number four I believe so yeah we're going to let this go and the new owner is coming now to pick it up and it's sometimes you got to make these decisions as to whether or not something is worth your time and money because we all work unless this is your work you don't have the time and if you did you probably wouldn't invest it in uh, old forklift so we got a new one and I'll show you guys that one that one's a little bit better it's uh, a little bit more as well it just needs a good tune-up it runs it's already hoisted a whole bunch of stuff around the shop for me so yeah wait for the new owner and keep it moving trying to get back on the Mustang okay guys so we concluded with a uh, Allison Chambers so as I described when I gave up the hoister I got it running and it was it was running good I got it to run for a decent amount of time after I fiddled with the carb some couldn't put that on video but I got it to the point where I can move it around and then the problem became that the cylinders these cylinders it was leaking as well as the main cylinder so on this one it leaks too but that's it otherwise it runs it drives you can see my skid marks and I've just got to do some maintenance on it change the seat and uh, maybe a little bit of paint so we're gonna call her rusty so that is pretty much the conclusion of me having a forklift I do have some goodies for it um, I'm gonna change the oil filter I got a performance fuel pump for what that's worth a fuel pressure regulator and uh, this is this is an old one that I had some new spark plugs and some clear see-through filter so this needs this is more along the lines of what I want to do to a forklift because I don't necessarily have to do anything with much to it because it moved a whole heap of stuff around and yeah this was well worth it now don't get me wrong one of the gauges work of the other one I think this is a trend uh, but we'll get the gauge working I'm gonna have upcoming videos later on when I don't feel like working on the Mustang but for now this is my new toy it has the same specs as the last one so it's a 5k hoist I don't really know what year it is I have to do a similar investigation to this that I did to the last one probably check out some forums take some pictures and ask and hope that if someone could give me some information um, I don't recommend buying things this way now that I've bought a good few old old stuff I really treasure I actually look first for manuals for the thing I want to buy and then buy it because you know it manuals help you know it just does it, it helps with the guessing like all right which 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 wire does what for where and why so I do have some clues here but as of now it's moved the things that I needed to move I will have more stuff for this to move but we are golden right now so that's all I got. Thanks for watching. See ya.